Hello, today we're going to go ahead and look at the most basic functioning of Moodle. So I've logged in, and when I get to the initial login page, I see my, um, my you know, just the basic login page. I can go to the left here and click on Enter Navigation. I can click on My Courses, and notice that my courses come up. I can click on my course name that I want to start editing. And when that, that course opens up, what will happen is, is that the the initial view that I had when I left will open up. So when I left, I was editing topic five. Okay, notice that if I wanted to see the whole course, I could click this button over here to show all topics. Okay, so let's say that I want to, I want to, you know, the Moodle course. Basically, what it is is there's an initial topic with no number, and then we have um, topic numbered topics. Okay, one after the other. Now, if I want to start editing things, the very first thing I have to do is I have to turn editing on. So when I first log in, it's going to show me the page as seen by students. So I need to go ahead up and click Turn Editing On. Then what you'll notice is all the controls kind of come up inside of the course. So let's say I want to go down, and let's say I'm starting on, it could be Topic 1 for you or wherever you're starting. Let's go ahead and, and click the button for Show Only Topic 6. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do in a topic is I want to add, obviously, a title, okay, based upon my style guide. Uh, so whatever the style is, that's what you want to do. Notice I can do the default section name. It just keeps it as saying Topic 6 as the, as the name. I can change that if I wanted, though. Um, and let's say that I want to call this Using, using Moodle. Or let's say, how about Authoring? in Moodle. Okay, and I want this to be bold and I want it to be uh, size 15 because it's a major you know, heading in the course. Hit enter. Uh, then I want to um, give it some introductory text. Okay, so this topic so this topic will introduce authoring in Moodle including common tasks and advanced activity types. Okay, so I want to, once I have this all in there, I save changes. And okay, so there we have it. We have topic six. We have my, um, my topic title. And uh, obviously I click this uh, edit summary to edit. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, I, I could just start adding in activities here for the students. Um, one main thing, a common thing that's used in Moodle is that underneath a topic we add labels to separate this content. So we go ahead and we click uh, Add Resource and we choose Label. Okay, and let's say that my first topic is um, uh, adding or how about authoring, authoring activities. Okay, so that's my first topic. I'm going to bold that and I'm going to make it, uh, let's say I'm going to make it 12 point. Okay, so I'm going to author activities. Visibility is show, obviously. And I'm just going to save and return to course. So a, a label is just a piece of text that appears inside the course to show the student um, to basically structure the content for the student, so that's a label. It just—it's a piece of text that sits there. Usually, it's used for for headings to separate up your content. Okay, so now I'm going to add an activity, and notice I click Add Activity, and this list comes up. Now, the most um, kind of the bread and butter of the online activity is the. Um, uh, so we have advanced upload of files, that's just uploading multiple files. We have online text, that's where the student actually writes into the assignment in just a text editor, so they can just write in text. Uh, upload a single file. Offline activity, that's where there's nothing really to upload in the interface, just the student will turn something in and it gives the teacher a chance to grade it online and put it into the course even though nothing happens inside the browser. And then we have VoiceThread uh, that's uh, specific to this server and voice thread commenting and voice thread creation. Okay, then we have specialized types of activities. So, so these were um, these were assignments.
Okay, so these were assignments. And then we have other types of activities like chat, choice, database, external tool, external tool, forum, glossary. And these are kind of more advanced things. So these are these are not one page assignments per se. They are they're more like larger activities or larger um, um, small web applications inside of Moodle that you can then assign a grade to. Okay, so but your standard assignment is going to be advanced upload of files, that's multiple files, or upload a single file. Okay, so well, that's kind of your standard activity. So in this case, we're going to do upload a single file. And notice that it's a jump menu, which means that we select the option and it brings us to the new page. And let's say, um, let's call this uh, creating an upload a single file activity okay let's call this editing a topic and creating a single and upload a single file activity Okay, because obviously I'm going to be uploading this very video to this activity, so let's make it real. Creating an upload a single file activity. Okay, so um, I like to structure my lessons a certain way. Um, this is up to your style guide. Um, so inside the actual lesson, I put an introduction. So today, uh, you will be learning to uh, edit and organize a topic in Moodle as well as creating a basic upload a single file activity. Okay, so I have my introduction done, and now I do my instructions. Okay, uh, so my instructions are going to be to watch this video, this tutorial video. Uh, next, they're going to create a lesson inside the Moodle, inside your Moodle course. Take a screenshot of the lesson and paste into a Word document. And then upload the Word document below. Okay, so those are my instructions. Notice that this editor acts just like a regular editor. Um, the tutorial video, I would add a link in later, obviously. Uh, and then I always say what to turn in for your grade. Okay, To turn in for your grade, uh, just um, and I say upload your Word document containing your screen shot below. Okay, so I like to just um, go ahead and bold the headings myself. Okay, so there we have it. Now, one thing that you'll notice in your uh, Moodle installation is sometimes you have things will be uh, center justified for seemingly no reason. So you want to make sure to left justify everything. Also, you want to take out these due dates. So remove the due dates for now. Uh, if you want to add them back in later, you can. Uh, grading, we just keep the grading me method simple. Um, you can add grading categories if you wanted to report things back to the students, and we'll go back through that later. Um, uh, allow resubmitting, we want to turn this on as yes, so that allows the student to submit more than once. If it's no, the student might upload something they don't want and then can't replace that. Um, you can always turn it off whenever you want. Email alerts teachers, you want that's a no, uh, unless you want 150 emails, or unless you want to see every time a e student emails you something or turn something in. Maximum size, you want to, this is one megabyte by default, you want to be careful with this. Uh, probably take it up to five megabytes, especially if you're having something where the students turn in something containing images. And then we click Save and Display. 
can also do save and return the course. Okay, so here is how it will uh, appear to a student. So we have our uh, our basic um, our basic instructions. Once the students completed the instructions, they would go to upload file. And notice they have a standard file upload dialog, um, and we click save changes. tells me the file upload is uploaded successfully even though I didn't upload anything. <laughs> so uh, notice I'm the teacher so I can view the one assignment. But Okay, so that is uh, going in and creating uh, our first assignment. So we, uh, on the left here, if I look at the navigation pane on the left, notice that, um, notice that I can go down, I can go straight back to my activity, I can go back to topic six, Oops, I can go back to, uh, to viewing my course online from that menu. Um, and notice that my topic six now, I have, uh, I have a heading for my topic, I have an introductory text for my topic in that same area, I've added a label, and I've added an activity. Okay, so now uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at some of the controls that we have in this interface. So I'm going to expand the page a bit uh, and move over my video area. And let's take a look at the controls that we have. So first thing we can do is we can move things around. So we grab this this little move icon here. Notice my, my cursor changes and I can move things around, uh, including the labels, so I can change how they appear. I can also indent items. Okay, so if I indent this topic um, and I turn editing off, we can kind of see what that does. So I'm going to turn the editing off here. Okay, so notice that now you see it's kind of nicely indented. I'm going to go ahead and turn the editing back on. Okay, so now we can go ahead. Uh, we can uh, we can you know, move the indenting back. Uh, we can click to update. Okay, we can click to duplicate. So this little hand with the pen is update times two is to duplicate. This is actually a really useful feature, the duplication feature, because say that. I have a, an activity, you know, say that I have a lot of kind of similar activities where well, I can type that, type in my kind of boilerplate stuff, my, my common stuff into the activity and then actually duplicate that activity. It's very, very, very helpful. So um, I can delete, I can hide it from the students, and then I can also, um, I can share and I can also uh, uh, chain this to, to, so I can view it via groups. Um, okay, so those are our common things. Uh, that, so that is how to log into Moodle, to edit your topic, to create a label, and to create a basic lesson, or sorry, basic activity. Uh, good luck.